audits are coming. I know that some of you who can't sleep at night have been reading the same thing I have. It's, so it's the National Bureau of Economic Research's working paper on the tax paid by the top 1% of households. Uh, the top 1% of households failed to report 21% of their income, with six points of that number due to sophisticated strategies that were so sophisticated that even if that upper income person's tax return was randomly audited under the NRP audit, the National Research Product Project audits, um, used to be called the TCMP audits, an autopsy without benefit of death was, the, was our occasional comment on NRP audits. Those strategies were so sophisticated that NRP audits didn't det detect them, six points of the 21%. That kind of information coming out when it's tax season and our people our clients are paying a whole bunch of tax and they read that the rich aren't. Now, first I want to define for you who the 1% of taxpayers are because a lot of your clients are going to go, that can't possibly be me. The top 1%, the most recent statistics are 2018 tax returns released in 2020. Uh, top 1% was $540,000 of total positive income um, and of those uh, those people earned 21% of the AGI in that year and paid 40% of federal income taxes, in case you want to know that, too. That actually came, those statistics are from the Tax Foundation, and you can see a lot more information in that bipartisan uh, reporting. So, uh, you will see more audits. The returns we are preparing right now of the top 1%, let's say in a few years worth from 2018 to 2020, we're probably talking about people with 600,000 and above of AGI. Those, by the time the budgeting comes in to allow more audits, um, budgeting to the IRS to allow more audits, you will see it will be our 2019 and 20 returns that are probably under a new audit program, a new audit target and emphasis. So think about that as you're finishing your wealthy tax payer, um, 540,000 2018, 600, 650,000 as we come into um, the audit years. Now there's more on that and we'll create more audits for your clients that are making a million dollars or more. And this is a, an information release from Syracuse's University Transactional Records Access Clearinghouse says that two of every hundred taxpayers reporting more than a hundred million in income were audited by the IRS in fiscal year 2020. So those are actually our 2018-19 returns, let's say. Two of a hundred. That has been as high as 10 percent and it's dropped down to 2% over the last several years. And if only 2% of millionaires are being audited, million and above, that means that you combine that with the prior statistic on finding sophisticated tax strategies, and we have a lot of uh, potent, mm, the IRS, Treasury, and Congress sees a lot of potential revenue if they can increase their audits. So you may have been reading that there is a proposal right now to give Congr for Congress to allocate a billion dollars to the IRS to increase audits on high-income taxpayers, whether it's the top 1% of taxpayers or the millionaires, that there will be more audits. And again, that will be our client returns that are we doing right now as we get the allocation out to the, as the Congress gives more budget to the IRS, they prep more agents, more examiners to do the audits on these, give them a lot more training, and um, I think that will be a push for audits that we need to remember. Um, when the last time the IRS was auditing millionaires at the 10% rate, I did get one of those where the client was a very um, high-income client, and they audited him and his related entity 
and it took a long time because they reconcile every bit of the money coming in as you might expect so it'll be harder in the future but I don't know who's going to do these audits this information came from a brand new national taxpayer advocate blog it's the NTA blog for fiscal year 2019 the IRS had 73,000 full-time equivalent positions employee positions a decrease of 22 percent from fiscal year 2010 so they had 94,000 employees in 2010 they now have 73,000 employees and a lot more work as we all recognize as as more burden has been pushed over on these rebate payments to the IRS now this is what's new you've been reading that the National Taxpayer Advocate said adding to the problem between employees who can retire and those who leave to work elsewhere, IRS could potentially lose a third of its current workforce at any time. Thus, these new audits coming up are going to be conducted by less experienced examiners. And that'll take more of our time and um, it's just a good as we're talking to our upper income clients and we're talking about what's coming up it's a good time to say there are going to be more audits on tax returns I don't want you to think we've done anything wrong it's just as the IRS Treasury and Congress look for more money our corporate tax rates going up according to a brand new Joint Committee on Tax a report the average tax rate on US corporations fell 51 percent to 2.8 percent in the wake of the Republicans TCJA reductions um, that took effect for 2018 so fell 51 percent to 7.8 the drop will add fuel to President Biden's proposal to raise corporate tax rate from 21 percent currently back to the future to maybe it's pre TCJA 28 percent so that's coming we're about to see more proposals I don't care about them right now because it's still tax season I might care more about those proposals and how it's working but again for your corporation clients that are paying tax the bigger C corporations you might tell them that we are on track for um, higher taxes and it looks like it might be um, more certain in the corporate tax area. So I'm Sharon Kreider. Thank you for watching for a few minutes, for listening in on our audios for a few minutes, um, just to update you through tax season on what you might want to be able to say to your clients and warn your clients about. So thanks for being here.